Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make some accordion circle embellishments. You can see right here I use them on my mini book here. I love to use them on a 3D object, but they also look really cute on cards and layouts. So let's get started. First you're going to take a one inch strip of paper, and I love close to my heart's paper because it's double sided so you have some options. I'm choosing to do the juniper side today because it goes best with my book. You're going to take your trimmer and slide your cutting blade down, we're not going to use that. Put your strip of paper in and line it up at 11 and 3 quarters of an inch. And then take your embossing stylus. I like to use the thicker end so I have less chance of going through my paper. And then you're just going to run it along the cutting blade and just make a slight indentation in the paper. You're going to slide it down again to 11 and a half, 11 and a quarter, 11 inches, and so on, and get all the way down to you get to the end of your paper. Then you slide it out, and when you're finished, you're going to end up with something that looks like this. And all you're going to do is fold your first layer down, and then we're just going to fold it back and forth, kind of like we did when you were back in elementary school and you were making fans. And you can just press, um, press them, pinch them between your fingers like so, and make a nice crisp fold, because when we fold it out, we want our fan to have some good crisp folds. So just keep going, it doesn't take long at all, just keep going back and forth, back and forth, like so. And then when you get to the end, we're just going to let it pop up, so you're going to end up with something that looks like this. Then you're going to take your adhesive and just run a little strip right along one of the edges. And this one should be folded down, and if you did it right, your last one should be folding down. And so I just have those two come up and meet each other like so. And then we're just going to set that there. You're going to take your quarter inch punch, circle punch. I like holding it upside down so I can see what I'm doing. And then just punch a hole or a circle. And we're going to take our circle here and I'm going to put adhesive all along the circle. And then for some extra bond, I'm going to add just a couple glue dots. And they're going to help it hold itself when we squish our fan, accordion fan on there. You can also use liquid glass, but I find I'm just not patient waiting for that liquid glass to dry. So this I like the results much faster. All right, we're just going to put our circle right next to our accordion circle fan here. And all you're going to do is just push it right in the middle, both hands, and it's going to start making that circle accordion shape, just like so. And sometimes you got to kind of futz with it a little bit. That's the beauty of it. And when it gets itself into the shape, then what you're going to do is we're going to slide it over to our little circle right over here. So let me flip it up. And I'm having the side that I want facing out out. So then you just very carefully slide it right over here, and the glue dots kind of help it hold. You can kind of arrange it a little bit more if you want, but that's what we end up with. Now, you can also choose to decorate them. Um, on this one, what I'm going to show you is I love to take our corduroy brads, and I know this only by experience. If you try to poke it through, it gets a little tricky. So I'm just going to take my good scissors here, my good close to my heart scissors, and just cut off the brad ends. And I know you're thinking, how can it go through that metal? It goes through it so quickly and easily. And then all you're going to do is just take a little, another glue dot and pop that right on the top there. And there is your accordion circle. Now you can experiment with different sizes. This one here, all I did was instead of a inch strip, I did a three quarters inch strip. And I still um, embossed it along each quarter of an inch, folded it, did the same thing with the circle, and it just got a little smaller version. You can experiment with lots of different sizes. Here's another size that I did. Here I did one and a half inch strip, and I just from experiments needed to see that you needed a 12 inch strip, plus you needed six inches. So I just put those in my trimmer, cut them, um, and then embossed them, and then attached them all together, and then I was able to make this bigger accordion fan. And you can experiment. You could put a button on the top of it. Um, you could put another circle and a message with some letters. They're just a lot of fun. So I encourage you to get out your trimmer, your embossing stylus, and some good old adhesive, and start making some accordion circle embellishments with me. Thank you.